Very quickly, let's go to our Python environment. And what I want to do is I'm going to just use the terminal environment in my editor here. And what I'm going to say is Python 3. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign three variables. I'm going to say a equals one. Sorry, a equals one. I'm going to say b equals two and c equals three. Now what I want to do is I want to see the values for these. So if I type a, it's going to tell me what it equals. b and c. Now if I come in here and look at where this information is stored, remember we discussed that lattice. What will end up happening is that since these numeric values are different, they'll all be stored in different locations. Now how can I see that? Well I can use the id syntax and I say give me the identity of a and it's going to tell me what memory space it's been saved in. If I come over here and say give me the idea of B, give me the idea of C. So what I've done is I've seen that each of these are in separate locations. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another variable. I'm going to say X equals 1. Now again, nothing's changed. A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, X is 1. So what I want to do is I want to demonstrate the fact that the data, the information, the value associated to two discrete value variables have been assigned to the same memory space. How do I do that? I'm going to say ID of A is going to be, the last four digits is going to be 6064, and then I'll say give me the location of X, and it's going to be the exact same value. And this is extremely important. This is extremely important because if I want to do an item by item comparison to see if they are truly 100% the same value, all I got to do is check to see if they're stored in the same memory space in that lattice. Now, another thing later on, we'll talk about mutability and immutability, i.e. the ability to be able to change a value once it's been assigned. And a lot of people are like, well, variables are all changeable, Terry. But keep in mind, the variable is actually going to be defined by the ID of the memory space it's assigned to. So if I were to change the value of, let's say, um, A and make it equal to, it's important to note that it will not, that information will not be stored in the same memory space. It will be removed, it'll be erased, and then it'll be moved to a new location. Interestingly enough, if I change it to 2, it'll actually be moved to where the same value as B. So if I change x to 2, let's go ahead and do that. So if I change x to 2, so x equals 2. Now I come up and say, show me the ID of x. You're going to notice that it moved. It's no longer in the same memory space. In fact, if I come over here and say, show me the idea of b, what you're going to see is it actually was relocated to where the information for variable b was originally stored. This is very, very important, and it does introduce a core concept to Python, and that is, is that some things, some variables, are considered to be immutable. You can't change them. You have to destroy them and create a new one. However, if you create a new value for a different variable that matches another variable, their information will be stored in the exact same location. I promise you this will become relevant and significant later on as we begin exploring some of the things that we may want to do with our script as it relates to networking. But until then, you're just going to have to take my word for it or, you know, be surprised when we actually hit it. it the choice is yours. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at this idea of the built-in data types. And we're going to look at a whole bunch of them. We're not really going to talk about what they do, tremendous, uh, what features they actually bring to the party until much later. But I will try to introduce you to the ones that I think are pivotal to understanding how to use Python to manipulate, control, and automate networks. I'm Terry Vincent, and I'll see you guys in the next video.